done it it's finished well it's not finished but it's usable uh, this coming weekend in New Zealand we have Labor Weekend which is the beginning of our summer and Labor Weekend is the celebration of the beginning of the 40-hour week which I think was actually uh, created and put into law first right here in New Zealand so I'm off for the weekend to meet up with a group of like-minded people and this is the first time that my little camper is going to be used but where I'm going the weather is a little bit dodgy at this time of the year and anything could happen so I've built this heater now this heater is perfect for small spaces like a tent or a small cabin or this kind of camper trailer now you may have seen in my other videos that I've made a range of methylated spirits alcohol burners and these burners I, I've been using for cooking but there's absolutely no reason whatsoever why if you put them into a separate device they can't be used for heating a small space so what I've done here is I've found an old piece of four inch 100 millimeter stainless steel chimney flue and inside it I've suspended on a wire six ceramic plant pots they're tiny they're only little two and a half inch ones and that gives enough room around the outside of them for the heat to go upwards and provide a chimney effect and we've got a drawer we've got coal well cool air coming in the bottom the flames are licking all around the stack of ceramic flower pots heating them up and putting out a lovely ambient heat meanwhile up the top we've got no smoke because it's an alcohol stove it's piling out the heat and warming up my little space in no time at all and one of the great things about it is these little burners only hold 15 minutes worth of fuel so that means that you can turn it on warm up the place before you go to sleep and it's not going to keep going while you're sleeping so there's no danger of carbon monoxide poisoning because it only goes for 15 minutes at a time you'll see that I've got the vent open straight above it Here's a little pan around, you can have a look at uh, the rest of the inside. The dark panels at the rear, that's not just a door. That is a nest of panels that when the door opens, they drop down and form the walls of a cubicle for my feet to go into. So all those people who thought that that thing is not long enough for someone to sleep in, well, they're actually wrong. Because when I park up, I pop out the rear end and I get an extra two and a half foot 750 mils of usable foot space so I'm going to be taking this little burner with me it can be hung I'm going to uh, put a wire handle on it so that it can hang from things I thought about putting a base on it but it doesn't actually need it it would be difficult to tip over now in a future video I'm going to show you how you can make your own version of this one of the great things about it is that by putting different burners in you can achieve more or less heat I've got a selection of these burners that I made also in a previous video I can show you those see how cool it stays the heat goes up below the line of the flames everything is cool enough to touch but I wouldn't go touching it above the flame line it's pretty hot we're talking uh, 250 degrees Celsius which is about 350 degrees Fahrenheit I believe 
but we've got lovely warm dry air piling out of the top of this thing going to stay toasty and warm if the weather turns to crap now this video has been part of a series on building this camper if you like what you see have a look at the playlist and you'll be able to see videos on each aspect of how this thing was built i'll be putting some links on the screen right now that will show you how to get to that playlist in the meantime i'm off to have my first weekend's camp in this beast